All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about carbon fiber peak. That's carbon fiber infused peak. Now, we mostly use 3DX Tech brand. It's got aerospace grade carbon fiber in there, which is it's smaller size and more rigid than the industrial carbon fiber you see in a lot of the nylons and stuff out there. It's peak, but it's easier to print. The carbon fiber fill increases the dimensional accuracy. Basically, it holds the thermoplastic in place while it's being printed or annealed or used, and so it just stays more accurate. Uh, it's more rigid, it's got a higher to strength to weight ratio based on having the carbon in there. It's really good when you need peak for chemical resistance or heat resistance, but you don't need unfilled peak. You can use anything because it's so much easier to print. Your yield rates are way, way higher. Part of the PAE family, the uh, polyaryl ether ketone family of thermoplastics. For my recent messing around with the stuff, it's fantastic. I mean, I have Ultim 1010 prints in carbon fiber that won't turn out no matter what I do, and I tried it in peak accidentally, and it came out perfect. The layer adhesion is actually better. That makes sense with big carbon fiber stuff. And I find it doesn't want to warp and curl as much. Everything that is an issue with standard peak, carbon fiber peak addresses in some yeah. way, which is yeah. massive. The only real downside, there are other ones we'll get into in a little bit, but you have to have a special nozzle or this stuff will tear through a breast yeah. and just destroy it. Even steel, hardened steel, baby. Hardened steel, tungsten, uh, sapphire and ruby in the high temps, it can work. Uh, it's just more expensive to replace if you jam it. Really good. Just like Peak, it's got extremely high thermal resistance, super good chemical resistance, strong wear resistance, and it can handle, it can handle high temperatures. So that means you can autoclave it. You can, you know, it'll resist extremely hot water and boiling temperatures. Uh, so past 250 Celsius. Uh, I believe the operating temperatures are up to 300 Celsius uh, continuous. That's hot. Yeah, it's really hot. That's really hot. It's hotter than any oven you can. That's like 642 Celsius, I want to say. 600 something. But for all of those benefits, there are some other downsides. It's a newer material. Peak is nice and certified. Maybe your employer or if you've been contracted out says, it needs to be certified as being used for this or that. Maybe they won't tell you because it's some super secret space stuff because that they, happens a lot. They might have been using it for 30 years and are like, that's all we want. You know? Well. The carbon fiber hasn't gone through all of the rigorous testing as of yet, so it's not certified to the same extent that standard unfilled peak is. Besides that, it's super abrasive, not just on your nozzle, which it is, but we're talking about the gears in inside of your extruder and even against itself. If you're making two gears and both are carbon fiber nylon, those things are gonna smooth out and wear themselves down. It's literally like, carbon's hard, man. It's like printing yeah. sandpaper that just grind against one another. Things like seals, uh, gears, bushings, bearings, pumps and compressor components, oh, um, automotive parts, aerospace parts. Uh, there's We see a lot of this stuff in defense because it's so strong and so lightweight. Uh, they can be used in a lot of different applications. We've seen some very interesting stuff. Let's just say it's hard, it's rigid, it's strong, and it's temperature resistant and chemical resistant. So. There's uh, certain industries that can use it a lot more than others. But what the carbon fiber does is make it so that when the nozzle makes a turn, the material goes exactly with it. Everything, these, you can't even see the layer lines. Yeah, beautiful. And minimal supports are used. When you do use supports, they come right off. Dimensional accuracy is where oh, dude. It is. supports are great with oh, this material. Oh, it's satisfying oh, to take them yeah. off. Yeah, like one layer of separation at 0.1 layer height. Uh, we do print at 0.1 layer height for carbon fiber peak. I think, yeah. I think a lot of it has to do with that aerospace grade totally. carbon fiber. It's way finer, it's more rigid, um, and that, I think that just helps it go through the nozzle better. Um, if you're using a 0.2 millimeter nozzle, you're gonna get more jams, but We've done that too. Four. Yeah, we have, we have. Uh, check out the 3D printing nerd video. Vision Miner works with NASA. Uh, we did some crazy, super high resolution parts. That stuff was carbon fiber peak. Oh, that wasn't PLA man. or ABS. Yeah. That was the gnarliest, yeah. gnarliest. We can throw some pictures up here. And each extrusion had to have been, I don't even know how you'd measure that. I think it was 0.25 millimeter extrusion. Peak would have been impossible. It was impossible. In fact, we other tried. people tried it, and it yeah. was absolutely impossible. That, that was, when we first that got was the capable project. of being done because of carbon fiber. Yeah, 
That's the only reason that that was made. It just keeps it where you put it. It does have the UL94 V0 FST rating, so oh, it can be good. used in aircraft and things like that. It's gonna change based on where you get it, who it's from. Each material is a little bit different. Each peak from each supplier is a little bit different. Really do your due diligence and make sure that it's applicable for what you're working on. It's peak, but everything that's wrong with peak has been fixed with this. Sometimes it prints better than even easier materials easier materials should be. It's harder, Yeah. It the parts come out looking much better. I can't say enough about it. Oh, this is great, it's hard. It's uh, all I would use if I could afford it. it yeah, it, that's, yeah, that's really the kicker. It's one of the most expensive materials out there. I think it's only topped by CF PEK, P-E-K-K, -K, uh, coming in at about $650 a kilogram, depending where you buy it. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. Uh, and what brand you buy. So it's very expensive material. If you don't need Peak, if you don't absolutely have to use it, you probably still don't want to use this um, unless you're making stuff uh, and it's part of your marketing. You know, sometimes saying it's made of carbon fiber infused Peak is just what you need to get that little extra edge in the market. So it might be worth the extra cost depending on what you're making. I'll also say that nothing looks better. There's no filament that gets a better looking part. Yeah. Yeah, Can't it really is. It. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's so smooth and just dialed in. Look at that top layer, man. I know. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Fantastic stuff. And always remember to dry it, and you're gonna need something great to stick it down to the bed, like nanopolymer adhesive, uh, which we developed specifically for Peak and Ultim and PPSU. And it's, so far, I mean, I think it's the only thing that really works. You can use yeah. a glue stick, it's a pain in the butt. Like, it's really, really a pain. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions or if there's something we didn't talk about, or if you want to see us print something cool in Carbon Fiber Peak, leave a comment down below. Then send your money to this address. <laughs> send your money to this address. But we have a lot of fun with it. Follow us on Instagram, uh, whatever. Have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe, notification bell, the deal. Have a great one. See you on the next video. Let's <laughs> go.